Start game! Uh, normal, sure. Wow, there's actually a lot of settings here. Show subtitles, yeah. Heal between encounters. Sets how much, if any, health is healed for free between encounters. Well, why wouldn't you just do all of it? Because then it's... Okay, I like how many different difficulty things they're adding in right here at the start. That increases replayability. Two minutes out. Hey, Godmother. Is this like the old days? XCOM swooping in and taking it to the bad guys? I wouldn't know. I spent most of the world training resistance networks. Like mine. And for your many long years of service. Watch it. XCOM attaches you to an untested squad and pushes it into the field before it's ready. How is this not like the old days? I'm just happy to be here. I missed out during the war. Wish I could have pulled my weight. For which side, exactly? I find that very hurtful. Sure thing, Advent. <clears throat> we are through the checkpoint. I was never actually Advent. But they were fitting you for a blocky helmet. Stow it, both of you. We're here. 3 1 PD gave us the all clear. Grab your gear and prepare to move in. All right. So that's our intro. So I think Whisper. we're working. What's your status? With the aliens more. ETA? Comms are working, obviously. Verge is en route. How? Verge can't drive. He, uh, he hailed the cap. To a hostage situation? Focus. Whisper. Any surprises in the next room? A handful of hostiles, unaware of your approach. Chimera squad, take positions. Prep for breach. Okay. So, welcome. I guess I intro this to Twitch, but not to YouTube. This is my first XCOM game that I'm meaning to complete. I've played XCOM 1 on my tablet. I've played XCOM 2 for about two hours and remember none of it. So, I was going to go back and play XCOM 2, and then they announced this game, and I was like, fuck it, let's try that. Chimera Squad begins every mission by setting up breach points to get the jump on enemies. Preview the enemy's presence at the breach point, and modifiers that will be applied. Okay. Then assign agents to the available slots to determine the order that they will enter the fight. So, how this game is select breach slot agents. Cherub, Godmother, and Terminal. I thought I would get to name everybody. I was going to just name all of my people after guys in Twitch chat, and then we could have a little funeral for them when they died. Maybe this is just because they're the starting ones. So let's just put Cherub here. He has a shield. He should probably go in first. I had, had no knowledge that he had a shield prior to clicking on him. Then we have Terminal. Looks like she is a robot. I like that. And then Godmother. Wait, is that a shotgun? Okay, we'll swap these. We'll swap these. Yeah, yeah, you go in with your shotgun. I don't know if it's actually a shotgun, but it looks like it. So this is our turn order on the right-hand side. This is our main objective at the top. And then encounter one of three at the bottom left. I'm assuming we can breach. Stay behind me. Oh god, okay. Uh, this is your fucking, uh, cycle through available targets with tab and left shift, then use selected ability with enter. Oh no, we def- this is kind of fucking cool, dude. We definitely go for this guy here that you first saw. Uh, so... Left shift would cycle the other direction? Okay, I see, that makes sense. He for 27 well. months. I'm just gonna fucking go. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna hit enter. Yo! I'm a natural! Okay, so this is the second person coming in. I don't think you're gonna be great. Maybe I should have sent the shield guy over here and the shotgun on the first guy. Surprise enemies receive a defensive penalty and won't react during the breach sequence. So we have some stats at the bottom. Our crit is 100%. We have a 65% chance of aiming this shot. 
on both of them, on the shot actually connecting. This guy has low cover. I don't really know what that means, but it, I'm assuming in this little protective area he's at. So it's negative 20%. Surprised plus 30% and pinpoint plus 100. Uh, surprised enemies receive a defense penalty and won't react during the breach sequence. So, shoot. Nice. Now you should have a pretty good shot. You should have a pretty good shot. Did we just clear the first room, boys? Hello. I am Mayor Nightingale. Hello. Is that our hostage? Welcome to City 31's Memorial Museum. It's just a recording. As I often say, the lessons from our past inform the present. Blah, blah, blah. History. Focus. Okay. Agents and enemies take their turns one at a time. Their current place in the turn order can be seen on the unit flag above their head and next to their portrait in the timeline, which both update after each turn. Agents with two action points each turn to use for movement. Agents have two action points each turn to use for movement, shooting, or abilities. Look for blue shield to move to cover for a defensive bonus before shooting. To move out to flank the enemy for a better chance. Or move out to flank an enemy for a better chance. I can read. Use the timeline to determine when enemies will take their turn in order to neutralize them or protect your teammates. Some advanced abilities and equipment will allow you to manipulate the order of the timeline. Some actions, like shooting, will end the turn regardless of how many action points are available. So once you shoot, your turn's over. Okay. So if... Okay, I like the camera controls. I like that I can move around and look at everything and zoom out. So we have two guys here confirmed. Yes, two fucking dudes. What if I just move him up? T okay, so there's full cover on the left. He cannot be hit from the left and then partial cover in front of him. Right? Isn't that correct? So this would still be partial. What kind of gun do you have, bud? Maybe I should stop holding down right click. I'm afraid to release it. Shifting position. Yeah, that's, knew that. Knew that was coming. He has a little pistol. Okay. Well, was that one of his AP? What happens if I hit this? In turn. Camera rotate. Oh. Oh, yeah. I like that. Okay, so he has three health. We could probably just, just hit him, dude. Fuck yeah, my dude. Okay. So how do we get someone else into position to help? We could dash over here. I don't know why that has an exclamation point. Will that end my turn? Um, this guy goes after me. So it looks like I can move for one AP inside of this highlighted area. And then anything after that would be moving up into cover. What if... I just moved here and then tried to shoot him. That way, if he moves up, we're not in a bad position. Oh, he's probably out of range. Oh, okay. Okay, you wait here then. <laughs> You're not moving any. Whoa! Behind the wall. Shit. Oh, I'm. Oh, God. I feel like every mistake I make in this game is going to really hurt. Okay, if I move here, you should just be able to shoot him, right? Fire weapon. Do I have to click on the enemy? Okay, so I wasn't out of range before. Fucking rip. Terminal fires their submachine gun, ending their turn. This will end the turn. Okay, shoot it, dude. Fuck yeah. Okay, so we took two, we took two points of damage. That's okay. Huh. Interesting. Oh, they definitely have the high ground this time. Contact. Thank you. Clear. Verge. Ah, <sighs> what took you so long? Had to unpack a breaching charge. Good man. Not exactly. You know what I mean. I always do. So creepy. Don't ever change. 
Verge, form up. Any hostiles in the next room? Yes. I can feel them. If I can see them, I can shoot them. Your percent chance to hit will be affected. Okay. Okay. Breach mode. So we're gonna we're gonna bust through again. Some encounters offer more than one breach point with different risks and benefits. Consider whether to split the squad or send them all through the same location. Agents entering the same breach point will enter the encounter together and be closer in the timeline. The order of the breach points will enter is shown next to their name and can be changed using the arrows. So two people can go through the main door and two people can go through this door up here. So Godmother's already a little weak. Six out of eight. Let's send let's send her up top. And we'll send her in with our new alien friend who's already up top. That's a perfect plan. <laughs> um agents damage likely. Agent damage likely I hate that. Okay, so we'll send in Shield Boy and we'll we'll send in terminal shield boys first i like that this is the breach order so the bottom floor is going in first this is encounter two of three anything else i should be aware of i guess i should read these enemies deal plus one damage during the breach last unit through this entrance does plus three damage during the breach okay great i feel Breaching great about in. it breach 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 I didn't know you were going in first! Okay. Okay. Wait, are these all of the enemies? Oh, I like this. I like this. So that guy in the middle, 92%. My highest chance of hitting someone? That guy's behind a fucking wall. This is neat. I really like the, the slow down bullet time effect here. So that's a 100% chance to hit this guy over there. Maybe we take that. Oh, yeah, we take that. 91% chance. That means it's never going to land. Let's go. Oh, my God. It landed. All right. We're breaching the top right now. Easy shot. Take him down. Oh. All right, alien boy. Does alien boy have another? Can I make him? Ooh, details. Oh, that shows it. Oh, we could simplify the UI if we wanted to. I see. Chat, do you prefer the more detailed view or the simplified view? Fired hostile target during the breach. That's what we want. What about this dude? 58%. Okay, we're going this way. Everyone nailed their shots. You got a shield. You'd be fine. This guy's out in the open. What an asshole. Each agent has a unique ability they can use every turn, eventually gaining more abilities from their class and equipment. Most agents also have the Subdue ability, a non-lethal attack that is low damage but guaranteed to hit. Use it to earn additional rewards for certain mission objectives. Cherub uses the Charged Bash ability instead of Subdue. Isn't Cherub our number one in the timeline here? So these come up at the bottom. Yeah, we didn't have those before, that's for sure. We just had shoot and overwatch. What's overwatch do? Is that when they just stick to the high ground and they make sure everyone's okay? Okay, we definitely move up to cover. No doubt in my mind, we move up to cover. And then we fucking shoot this guy. Kinetic shield. Contain and control their new subjects. Is there a way to see how much this does? Places energy shield on self or ally to prevent all damage for the next attack. He gains one charge when the enemy shield is destroyed. Does not automatically end the turn. Just shoot him, dude! Just shoot, Just fire the weapon! Okay, he took two damage. That's okay. That's okay. It's just two damage. It's just two damage. Okay. Um, there's no... I can't, like, attack through the wall, right? I could, okay, what do we got? We have Safeguard. Terminal sends a gremlin to an ally that restores four HP, cleanses burning acid and poison effects, and grants 20 defense. Terminal can target themselves with Safeguard, does not automatically end the turn. Or Subdue. Terminal melee strikes a target. If the target would be killed, they would be rendered unconscious instead. Unconscious units are captured at the end of each mission. I like capturing people. 
That's oh shit. I hope it. Oh shit. Okay, we gotta kill him. We gotta kill him quickly. We gotta kill him quickly. That was the worst misclick I've ever done in my life. Just shoot him. Just shoot him. Shoot him dead, dude. I hope there's no friendly fire. Woo! All right! Okay. That's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Set up the breaching charge. I wasn't gonna punch I him. I do dude. like to make an entrance. Okay. Breach mode. We're going in again. Everyone's going through this time. We're hitting a wall. Explosive entrance. All not aggressive enemies guarding this entrance will be surprised. Some breach points can only be accessed through special equipment or abilities. Once an agent uh, with the required asset is on the first slot, other agents can then be assigned. So we need to assign someone with the satchel charge, with the breaching charge, which is going to be Cherub. Get in there, bud. And then after that, uh, we'll send in the most healthy of our little little team here. Breach it! Wait, hold! Ah! Hostage confirmed in the next room. Shit. We need more than that. 3-1 PD has a live feed. Patching through. If you surrender, I will advocate leniency. Enough. This exhibit, it is about XCOM's role in our liberation. I see you read the placard. It doesn't say how they went soft and got weak. Now, it's up to us to light the spark. He's holding a detonator. Go, now! Making a path. Good thing you have that shield. I like shield guy a lot. Oh yeah, shield guy, shoot left. Yeah, fuck that guy. Okay. Can we potentially 56% chance to hit? But they all seem uh, cover rush. Fire a hostile target during the breach. So instead of shooting, they would go for cover instead, is that correct? Yeah, fucking take it, dude. 56 chance to hit. Come on. Come on, take it. Yes! Okay, leave the easy guy for last. 63% chance? Even better. Oh, you. <sighs> oh, that was a shotgun. That was. Not. Mirror Nightingale, I'll protect the you. The best option. So the hostage is just standing on a platform? Oh! Terminal, oh. stabilize him. On it. Verge, with me. Protect the mayor. Confirmed. Okay. So I know that in past XCOMs, this guy would be dead, right? But now we can go resuscitate him. Agents that lose their HP will begin bleeding out over several turns, indicated by the number <laughs> in the timer. I should say, the original reason I wanted to play XCOM 2 was because the turn order in XCOM 2 was exactly the same as what Baldur's Gate 3 is going to be, so I wanted to get used to that pacing, where it's like your team goes at one time, and then the enemy team all goes at one time. This game is more like Divinity, where the turn order is broken up by individuals based on some stat, I'm assuming. But this bleed out mechanic is very similar to Baldur's Gate 3, so it's, it's interesting uh, how some things are drastically different and how some things are more closely related to what I wanted to do. So he's bleeding out. We're going to have to get him. We're going to have to use a stabilize ability. Uh, what if I safeguard our shotgun wielder here? Uh, use a stable... Or do I have to stabilize him... On the run. <gasps> you Watch your flanks. Fucking shit. Fuck. Fucking shit. Oh. It's okay. You just gotta, gotta get run moving. Over there, then. We'll just put you over there. Can you shoot anything from there? Can you fucking stabilize? God, you don't have any cover. Maybe we should rethink this whole breach in this area thing. Stupor. Psionically stuns the target for one to two actions. What if we stun him? 
Do it, do it, do it, do it! Your mind falls away. Okay. Then can you get him up? Okay, you're kind of out in the open. I hope you're chilling. It's just one guy. How? Yes, yes! Every bullet just hit you, but it's okay. It's okay. Now you flank around this way, and we'll push the backside here. The camera rotates in the opposite direction, I would think it would. Scatter shot. Fires a shotgun at a short range. Damaging multiple targets costs two ammo. Wait, you have ammo? Okay, just shoot him. Just shoot him. Take him down. You can do it. Yeah! Oh, he has some armor. Hang okay. Out. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa! He just shot the hostage. What an asshole. Oh, okay. 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 So, let's safeguard the hostage, maybe? Terminal sends a gremlin to an ally to restore his 4 HP. I don't want the hostage to die. I don't know if that's necessary. I actually didn't see the hostage's HP. I just want to look out for him. You know? I just want to make sure they were all right. Can you clip this guy? 48% chance to hit a person standing with no cover. What if you subdue him? Okay, I'm just gonna try it. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. No, this doesn't seem good. <laughs> ah! Wait, how did I stay down? How did I know he was gonna attack around the corner like that? Was there an indication for that? Okay. What if you move here? What is your HP? You have four HP. That's way more than they can do. Now, let's just get you back to cover. I can make it there. We'll get you back to that cover. That you. And then you shoot this fucking guy, which apparently is a 64% chance of hitting. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Red squares on the ground had eyes. So was he in an overwatch state? How do I get my guys to just shoot around proximity like that? Because it seemed good. Okay, I'm going to dash here. Not dash. We're just going to walk. We need to make sure we use the proper terminology. And then, what if I subdue him too? Yeah, go! Arrested the target. <laughs> Mayor Nightingale. Are you alright? It looks worse than it is. Those medikits are really something. Compliment accepted. What about Cherub? Yeah, I uh, think so. Only thing injured is my pride. And your diaphragm. And a few ribs. None of this should have happened. Most people say thank you. I'm, I'm grateful, of course. But these people don't have the capability for any of this. Explain. I read their threat assessment. A month ago, these insurgents were all talk and no capability. The greatest threat they posed was to bottles of alcohol. I know Why that threat. Why tell us? Why now? City 31 shows the world how humans, hybrids, and aliens can keep a lasting peace. I'm the public face of this. Tonight, someone wanted what I represent to go up in flames. We're not in town for local intrigue. I know. But right now, you're the only ones I'm certain are fighting for that same peace. Can I count on your support? Yes, ma'am. Lightly wounded, gravely wounded, lightly wounded, lightly wounded. From two captured enemies, there's a 40% chance to earn, excuse me, 20 intel. My rating was good. I realized that I read this in the weirdest order. I went middle left, right, down, bottom left, and now I'm going to the top left. Operation Deceased Flail. <laughs> Crisis at the museum. Whisper here, head back to base. We're going to need to debrief. Fuck yeah, dude, I beat my first mission. That was fun. That was really scary. Um, uh, let's, let's see where it goes from here. Let's see where it goes. Package delivered to 31PD. 
She truly believes what she that? says. Why she's Almost in charge. Not too shabby for our first official mission. We did Don't great, do dude. Don't do what? Celebrate before a mission is complete. It's... Whoa! It's bad luck. Yeah, that looked like it was bad luck. Building rank three field teams. Okay. Tonight, Mayor Nightingale perished in an explosion at City 31's Memorial Museum. The identity of her assailants is unknown at this time. The city council asks citizens to remain. So she gets vaporized the same day XCOM sends Chimera Squad to our city? You hear that voice in your head? That's me telling you to wake up! Despite opposition, Mayor Nightingale's deciding vote brought the reclamation agency to the city. Without her support, Chimera Squad's continued presence is an open question. 